And there she is, the all new 2019 Ram 1500 Laramie Sport Edition with the blackout package. We've got the sport hood and everything's blacked out guys. Stay tuned for the full review. What is up guys? Here we have the new addition to the channel. This is a 2019 Ram 1500 Laramie with the sport appearance package along with the blackout package. What this means is it comes with everything blacked out including the Ram emblems, the uh, you know the emblems on the side, all there's no chrome trim anywhere, everything's painted black and it's a really sharp package. We actually ordered this truck because we couldn't find this truck on any lots near us uh, within 500 miles with the same spec, um, with this exact same spec, uh, because we wanted the 22 inch wheels, we wanted the sport hood, as you guys can see here, the sport hood, it definitely makes the truck. I wish I had this on my white truck, uh, it just makes it look a lot meaner, more aggressive, and just really gives it a nice touch. But anyway, we wanted the sport hood, the 22 inch wheels, the power running boards. I'll explain here in a minute how those work. Just like this here. They come down when you open the door. And obviously the big 12 inch screen. Uh, we wanted that. So we went ahead and ordered the truck to spec. And it took about a month to get after we ordered it, which isn't bad considering. Um, so yeah, here she is guys. What do you think? Comment below. Let me know your thoughts on the new 2019 Ram 1500 Laramie with the sport appearance package along with the blackout package. Um, you will be seeing a lot of videos on this on the channel, so stay tuned for more videos. Um, I'm going to get into the review now. So to start off with the front of the truck, uh, being that this is a Laramie, it does come with the LED headlights. Um, what I do like about these headlights versus my headlights on my white truck is that the inner bezel is painted black. Just makes it you know nice and stealth looking. I wish I had those on mine. But being that mine was the sport appearance package and they didn't make a blackout package on the Bighorn, um, I was you know stuck with the chrome bezels with the chrome wheels the chrome badges and all that and I had to make all those black but this truck literally comes stock as you see it we haven't done a thing to it yet it is bone stock we're gonna have the windows tinted here in the next couple days so stay tuned for that video um, we're gonna either level it like I did my big horn or we're gonna do a two inch drop level in the rear uh, I'll go over that here in a little bit but yeah, it's definitely not gonna stay stock. We have more mods coming to this truck, so stay tuned, make sure you subscribe. And uh, also follow me on Instagram. Uh, it's, I'll put a link down below uh, for my Instagram and I'll also pop up here on the screen. It is Do Work Motorsports, all one word. Go ahead and follow me on Instagram so you can stay up to date with all my latest uh, updates and videos. So like I said here on the front end, everything is black. Uh, the Ram emblem does come painted black on this truck and all the bumpers are black being that it's the sport appearance package and it does have a camera here under the a i don't know if you guys can see in the there you go um this camera here um shows you know the front of the truck if you when I'll, I'll show you on the screen um you can literally it has the 360 360 degree camera system and i'll show you that here in a little bit so we made sure to order the truck with the sport hood um, this hood does not come standard on the laramies but as you guys can see it definitely makes the truck a lot more aggressive um, it definitely has a different look to the front end of this truck i wish i had this hood on my truck who knows maybe i'll be able to find one for cheap and uh, throw it on the bighorn 
So yeah, like I mentioned before, the LED headlights are standard along with the LED fog lights. That's a standard option on the Laramies. Also on the Laramies, you get the uh, fender flares, the color matched fender flares. They're not very gaudy. They don't stick out very far, but they do add a nice touch to the truck. I personally would rather not have fender flares because I feel like it makes the wheels stick in too far. And I feel like this truck needs wheel spacers now because the you know wheels stick inside the wheel well. But uh, moving on to the wheels, these are 22 inch uh, factory Ram wheels. These are the upgraded 22s for this truck. They are wrapped in 285, 45, 22. Um, Goodyear Eagle Touring tires. Now what I've read on the forums is that these tires are not very good in the snow and being that we live in Michigan that might be a problem. Um, this is also a tow vehicle. We tow a 23 foot trailer uh, with this truck so we're gonna put these tires to the test and I'll update you guys and let you know how these tires do in the snow. Um, before we switch the tires out and put more of an aggressive tire or more of an all-season tire on the truck I am gonna try it out in the snow and um, make sure that they, you know from what people are saying they're not very good in the snow but we're gonna we're gonna give it the true test and you know see if we knew see if we do need to upgrade the tires on this truck but as you guys can see it's more of a touring tire they're very quiet very smooth very soft this truck rides way better than my big horn now that I have it leveled but uh, yeah so stay tuned on that we are gonna put this truck to the test and do a lot of testing on this truck and uh, update you guys with different videos so being that this is the blacked out package Laramie, the RAM letters come blacked out, along with back here, the tail lights have a black ring around the edge of it, along with a black center, where on my big horn, they, this was all red. Red, all red around here. And honestly, if my tail lights came like this, I probably wouldn't have tinted them because these really don't look that bad. Um, if I can find a set of these for cheap, I probably will put these on my truck and take off my tinted taillights being that I sprayed them and uh, just because I think this is a cleaner look and also it doesn't you know the red doesn't pop out as much as it did on my truck it just looked terrible on my truck but I still like the uh, tinted taillight look on my truck I just wish that my truck came with these blacked out taillights I know they're still red in here but that is you know the taillight of the truck the running light and then these here are your brake lights and turn signals so um, yeah, and then also on the blacked out edition, you get all blacked out Laramie. I don't know if you can see that because it's dark back here. Let me get a flashlight for you guys. But as you can see here, it is a blacked out Laramie badge, blacked out Ram, and blacked out 4x4. And also on the blacked out package, you do get black chrome exhaust tips. Now these here are awesome. They set it off just right back here. And I really like the way those look. I might order a set of those for my truck. So we ordered this truck with a spray-in bed liner. As you can see here, it is sprayed and not a plastic bed liner like I have in my truck. Um, I do like the way it looks a little bit better and it just has a different feel to it. It also has the track system here in the bed. So some of you guys might be wondering what color this actually is. Some angles it just looks like plain black and then some angles with the light on it or out in the sunlight you can see the sparkles or pearl in the paint and this color is actually called black diamond crystal pearl and it's a really sharp color especially out in the sunlight once you get this truck out in the sunlight it totally looks different you can see all the pearl in it and it just makes it look a lot better than just plain black like the demon here the demon is just plain black no pearl in that and then of course we got Buster Brown follow him on Instagram Buster Brown bully he's got a little attitude problem right now he's mad because he's not doesn't have food in front of him right boss is that true you ready to eat yeah no say hi to YouTube say hi to YouTube so I got the window sticker here for you guys, and as you can see, 2019 Ram 1500 Laramie Black Crew Cab 4x4. Now they don't put Sport Appearance Package, Blackout Package, all that on the window sticker. Um, however, as you guys can see, the base price of this Laramie was $45,995. And that came with the Diamond Black Crystal Pearl paint, the black interior, 
the leather trim bucket seats with the Alcantara um, uh, outskirts on it. I'll show you that here in a second once I move on to the interior. Um, it does have the 5.7 Hemi with the 8-speed trans. And what we did, we ordered this truck with the 392 gears. And I don't know if you guys know about this or not, but this truck with a 392 rear end is a lot faster and snappier than my truck um, without it. Um, this truck definitely, uh, we wanted to make sure we ordered it with that rear end because it definitely helps with towing and also, you know, your zero to 60, it definitely gets off the line a lot faster. Just all the standard equipment that comes with the Laramie. Down here is our optional equipment. Um, for $100, um, you get the diamond black crystal pearl paint that is a $100 option. Uh, you also, uh, the package we got was the 25H package. That was a $3,400 package. Um, that one there basically comes with the 22 by 9 wheels, the all-season tires in 285, 45, 22 all-season tires, um, the black exterior badging, the black headlight headlamp bezels, which is what I was talking to you guys about, how that's different than on my white truck, um, the black interior accents, full-length upgraded floor console, Laramie body color grill, leather trim seats, power heated mirrors, fold away, and also towing mirrors but this truck does not have the towing mirrors um, the sport performance hood which is what I really want for my truck and then also it has the Ram charger wireless charging pad that I don't have in my Bighorn either and I'll show you that here in a minute once I go in the interior but uh, the advanced safety group is 1695 what that is it has the um, adaptive cruise control with stop and go it has the advanced brake assist Full speed forward collision warning. So if you get up too close to somebody, it literally slams on the brakes. It's like autopilot. Um, it does have the parallel and perpendicular park assist with stop surrounding view camera. So it's got a 360 degree camera and I'll show you that here once we get inside and I'll show you it, pull it up on the big screen. But that there is awesome. Um, and it does have the bed utility group for $845. It comes with four adjustable cargo tie down hooks along with the LED bed lighting and spray in bed liner. So that is our optional equipment for this 2019 Ram 1500 Laramie. And then with all that being said, moving over here, we do have a level two equipment group, which is $45.95. And what that does come with is the 19 speaker Harman Kardon premium sound, uh, XM radio, automatic high beam, lights, blind spot monitoring with cross path detection, uh, heated second row seats, park sense front and rear parking assist, rain sensitive windshield wipers, under seat compartment storage, remote tailgate release, so I'll show you that here. We can use the remote to drop the tailgate down. That My truck does not have that either. Um, the rear 60 folding, that, that's normal. Um, CD player, blah, 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 blah. Uh, we have the front and rear rubber floor mats. Those are like WeatherTech mats. I'll show you that here in a second. The 392 rear axle ratio was only $95 upgrade. I recommend all you guys in the market to get a new Ram to make sure it has the 392 rear end. This truck is a totally different truck with that rear end. It's got the anti-spin diff. It's got the Hemi. The power running boards, which I'll go over here in a minute. Um, the rear wheel liners, which makes it nice and nice and clean. You don't see any of the um, stuff under the bed. 33-gallon uh, fuel tank we got for this one, being that um, we're going to be towing a trailer and going up north. So it's it's more to fill up, but you get longer range. Um, and then also the 12-inch display, the Uconnect, which is my favorite part of the truck. Um, that is a $1,300 option. So there's the other options, the optional equipment that we ordered on this truck. And that's how much everything costs. And that leaves us to a total price of $63,465. And honestly, for this Laramie to have all those options, that's not that bad of a price. And like I said, the incentives on these trucks right now are so good, they make it very affordable to, uh, to buy these trucks. So make sure you check out. Uh, I'll put a link in the description below on where we picked this truck up from and where we ordered it from. Uh, make sure you guys um, click that link and shop around. And go see my salesman. I'll leave a link in the description below with his contact information. And you guys can pick yourselves up a 2019 Ram 1500 from him. I mean, he's, he's the cheapest around, so make sure you hit him up. So some of you guys might be wondering what the fuel mileage is speculated to be on this 2019 Ram 1500 with the 392 rear end. 
Um, it's showing 17 miles per gallon combined city and highway. It's also showing 15 in the city and 21 on the highway. And I will be doing more um, testing videos with this truck uh, as far as fuel mileage goes and also towing. Um, I will be doing um, towing tests with my Bighorn and the Laramie. And so make sure you guys stay tuned to the channel. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. Um, there'll be much more content to come on both of these trucks. Um, like I said, this is just we're just getting started here. There's going to be a lot of modifications done to this and more modifications to come on my Bighorn. So make sure you guys stay tuned and stay updated with my videos. So we're going to go ahead and move on to the interior now. And as I mentioned before, this truck does have the uh, automatic steps when you open the door. So I'm going to show you how those work now. You open it up and they come down. And then when you shut it, I think it takes like five seconds for them to go back up. And you wouldn't even, you, you can't even tell that the truck has running boards once they're up. I really dislike running boards on a truck I feel like it, it doesn't make it look as tall and aggressive but with these power running boards you can't even tell the truck has running boards until you open the door which makes it really nice especially if the truck gets lifted um, having that extra step in is really nice to have so on the Laramie it has a much nicer interior than the Bighorn as you can see here leather wrapped door panels with white stitching uh, piano black carbon fiber uh, moldings with Alcantara door pads. Very, very nice. Um, memory seating here. And also, I didn't mention, well, I mentioned it in the window sticker, but we ordered this truck with the 19 speaker Harman Kardon stereo, which absolutely rocks. Here's the seats here. Full leather with Alcantara pockets. It says Laramie there in the center. And they're just really nice. These are both heated and cooled or ventilated. These are those um, RAM mats I was telling you guys about. Uh, they're just like WeatherTech mats, but they have the RAM logo here, and they're a little bit more rugged. And but they do they do keep all the slush and water and salt from getting to your carpet. As you can see, they they line the floor liner. Um, they line the floor perfect, uh, with no gaps for any snow, slush, or salt to get on your carpet. So that's a really nice feature to have. I recommend ordering those or getting them for your 2019 RAM. So moving on to the interior now, this has the same steering wheel as my Bighorn. It's a pretty standard steering wheel, um, except for the Limiteds have, and the Longhorns have the wood, you know, the wood grain up top. But this is the same wheel as my Bighorn, except for it does offer the adaptive cruise control here next to the standard cruise control. So that's new for this truck, being that it does have adaptive cruise control and lane assist, which is offered right here. This button here, if you click that, that means it turns off your lane assist. So let's go ahead and uh, start this up. Gauges are the same as my Bighorn with the same background. The main difference here is the 12 inch display. The 12 inch screen offered in this Laramie is one of, is basically my favorite feature of this truck. I really like this screen. Um, as you can see here, you've got your media, your controls. This is where you uh, can control your heated seats, vented seats and heated wheel. You have your mirror dimmer, deploy step. So when you hit this button, the steps um, you know come out um, from underneath the truck you have your backup camera and then your surrounding camera which I'll go over the cameras here in a second and then over here passenger heated seat and vented seat um, you also have your climate control all here you can control it via the buttons here or digital on the screen this looks literally looks like an iPad this screen is to die for I love this feature on this Laramie and then you have your apps here literally just like an iPad and then you've got your nav. Now look at this. The nav is basically one big map and you can separate the screen to have you know, your music up top and your nav on the bottom, which I'll go over that here in a second. And then you have your phone, your phone so you can connect a phone for Bluetooth. And then backup camera right there. Another cool feature that they added for 2019 is the zoom feature on the rear backup camera. So what this means is if you hit the zoom button, it zooms the camera right down to your trailer hitch so that when you're backing up to a trailer, you are spot on to the you know receiver on the trailer, so or the tongue on the trailer. So um, that's a nice option they added there. 
So we're gonna go ahead and take a look at that um, surrounding 360 degree surrounding camera. So we're gonna go ahead and hit that now. And then what that does is it brings up over here on the left, a uh, bird's eye view of the truck. Now, as you can see, I'm parked on an angle in my garage just so I could get a good walk around video. But like this really helps you when you're backing, you know, if you're backing into a parking space and you wanna be, you know, spot on with the lines or if you're parallel parking and you don't wanna curb your wheels like downtown or something, you definitely wanna have this surrounding camera on it will definitely help you park. And then you also have different views. You have the back view, you've got a zoomed back view, and then you've got your front camera as you can see the demon over there on the right and then you've got a zoomed you know front camera and then you've got another backup camera there so the cameras on this truck definitely are a great option to have for when you know tow whether you're towing or just parking um, they're really nice to have I really do like the piano black trim around the 12 inch screen along with up here it's like a gloss black almost carbon fiber look in there. I don't know if you can see in the camera. Yeah, there we go. You can kind of see like the carbon fiber look. Um, really nice touch on this Laramie. But as we move on to down here, uh, we did order this truck with a trailer brake. As you can see, that is what that is there. And then we don't have, we did, we ordered the truck with a stock suspension, or standard suspension, I'm sorry, not air ride. And that's what that missing button there is uh, for is the air ride suspension, which we do not have on this truck. Um, you've got your traction control off, your tow haul, and your parking sensors front and rear on and off there. Um, for 2019, they added a CD player, and then you've got your USB-Cs and USB ports, both one and two, with an auxiliary port in the middle. Also, on this Laramie, my Bighorn does not have this, the Laramie um, offers this, it's called a RAM charger. What this is, is a charging pad, wireless charging pad for your phone. So you literally just stick your phone down in the slot and it charges it wirelessly. Now this will only work if your phone is compatible with for wireless charging. Um, also down here, I don't know if you guys can see, but there is a um, wall plug down here that my Bighorn does not have. Um, this is only standard on Laramie as well. So that makes it nice. And then you've got this big cubby hole, same as my Bighorn, um, with the moving cup holders and tray, just like the Bighorn has. But yeah, that's uh, basically it. Um, the other difference is it does say Laramie over here. I'm trying to use my flashlight. As you can see there, it says Laramie on the dash instead of Bighorn, obviously because this is a Laramie. Um, but yeah, it is kind of dark in here. That's why I'm using a flashlight. Um, the gear selector is the same as the Bighorn, except for it does have um, it's all polished aluminum instead of it just being um, aluminum around the edges and then like mine is just black in the center with like rubber. Um, this is definitely a lot nicer uh, gear selector on the Laramie. And this is the same gear selector that's offered on the Limited as well. So just to give you guys a better understanding on how this works, you just press in this button here and move the tray forward and back. And then you've got your cubby hole down there. Also, on the Laramie, you get this Ram logo here. This is leather wrapped for the armrest. And you've, get, you've got a, um, same as the Bighorn, it's a dual compartment center console there. I really like the leather wrap dash on the Laramies and above, obviously the Limiteds have it too. Um, it just gives it a nice touch more than my uh, Bighorn does. And as you can see up here, the radio, the sound system is a Harman Kardon where mine says Alpine right there. So the Alpine sounds really good for, you know, just being more of a standard radio, but the Harman Kardon definitely is more crisp and is obviously there's 19 speakers, there's more speakers, so it obviously sounds better. Um, if you're looking for more of a bass um, sound system as far as like having more bass, the Alpine to me has more bass, but for more of a crisp and clear sound system, I do like the Harman Kardon 19 speaker system. And as you can see, there's two different speakers, high and low, in the doors, along with the speaker up here. Moving on to the back seat of this Laramie, um, being that it is a Laramie, the back seats are reclinable. As you can see here, there's a handle that you can pull. Once you're sitting in the seat, you pull it up and the seat literally just reclines, makes it nice. And then also you use this handle and pull up, and that is how you get the seat up. And also, the Laramie comes standard with this 
um, little cubby hole here where my bighorn does not have. Uh, my bighorn is just a standard floor that's straight back here, and this one has the cubby holes along with the cubby holes that are offered back here underneath this mat. So these are the same as in the fourth gen. So moving on to over here, uh, we have our heated seats. They are not ventilated, but they are heated in the rear. You have your USB 3 and 4, which also comes standard with USB-C ports. And then you've got your 115 volt, 400 watt wall plug here in the middle. That pulls down, and there you go. So this truck is well equipped, especially to have the price tag that it does have. Um, I'm very impressed with it. This is probably one of my favorite um, optioned trucks out there that Ram offers as far as my favorite trim level because you get everything that um, a Limited has just without the chrome everywhere. And obviously we didn't order the truck with the panoramic roof, um, but we didn't really have the use for it. So we saved some money there by not ordering the panoramic roof. But Overall, this truck is very nice, and for the money, you really can't beat them. Another cool feature on this Laramie is the power tailgate. So what this means is, obviously you can hit, just like on the Bighorn, you can hit the button on the handle of the tailgate and it comes down automatically. But on the Laramie, what they offer is this here. On the key fob, you can hit this twice and the tailgate just comes down. Just like that and as you guys can see this bed does come equipped with LED bed lights and I will be changing those to LEDs so stay tuned for that video as well but that's basically it on this 2019 Ram Laramie I will be getting the windows tinted on this truck one day this week so make sure you guys stay tuned for that video I'm gonna go over how to tint windows and whatnot so it'll be basically like an install video and show you guys what kind of tint we went with on this truck so that basically completes today's video guys if you like the video hit that thumbs up button if you're new to the channel go ahead and smash that subscribe button also follow me on instagram at do work motorsports all one word i'll put a link in the description below i'll also display it up here on the screen and as always thanks for watching and i'll see you next video peace